Hi there, we are going to be creating a mini mushroom. Um, these are very, very popular amongst my students. I like to give them out as little, um, kind of like graduation gifts as they go up to the next grade. So I have a bunch of different colors and I'm going to show you how to make another one of these pink ones. So all you're going to need is um, a crochet hook. I use a uh, 4.25 millimeter that will make something this of this size. Um, if you use a bigger one, it will create a bigger mushroom, but the um, stitches themselves will look much larger. Uh, you can also use a much smaller hook, in which case you're going to have a very, very, very tiny um, result. So after the hook, you're going to need obviously a pair of scissors. You're going to need um, a tapestry needle, needle um, or just a sewing needle. You can use your crochet hook, but um, it is a little bit more convenient to use these. And then you're going to need three colors. You're going to need a very small amount of black, and that is just so that you can create the eyes. You are then going to need, obviously, white for the um, kind of the, the main face of the mushroom, and then a color of your choosing. So I'm going to use pink, because that was um, highly requested from my grade six students, so I should probably show you how to make them, and kill two birds with one stone. So to get started, we're going to do magic circle with six. So I'm going to chain one and then do six single crochet inside. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. Take my tail, pull it close, and we will seal it up. So find that, find that little V for that first single crochet and pull through both, chain one. Your next round is just going to be um, doing increases, so you're going to do two in every stitch. And 12, and find your first single crochet. Go right in there, grab and pull through, chain one. All right, so um, this mushroom is pretty pretty simple in its construction, mainly because it's so small, but also because we're working in those concentric circles of um, rounds of six, so we're increasing by six. So, so far, round one was six single crochet, uh, round two is 12, then moving up to 18, and then we're maxing out at 24, and then we'll work on some decreasing. So now to get up to 18 stitches, what you're going to do is do two and then one, two and then one, all the way around for a total of 18 stitches. So one, two, and then one by itself. One, two, and then one by itself. And you're going to continue that all the way around. Find that first stitch, close it up, chain one, and you're going to notice it start to cave in, so make sure you are folding it back. Our next row is row four, so we are going to be doing a, um, an increase again by another six stitches. So we're going to go 24. So we're going to do two, and then one, one, two, and then one, one, just like that. So increase, and then one, one, and repeat all the way around. Four and that last one, close it up, and then chain one. All right, so for the next three rounds, you are going to do 24 stitches all the way around. So for 24, 48, 72, you're going to do that for three rounds. So I will fast forward and see you when you're done.
Alright, so you are now going to be starting on row number 8. So you're going to do um, a repeat. So you're going to do decrease and then 1, 2, decrease, 1, 2, and you're going to do that 6 times. And you're going to have 18 stitches in the end. So whenever we're working in 3D, or at least when I work in 3D, I like to work in the back loops when I do decreases. So that way it um, doesn't pull on the, on the final product and you can kind of hide your stuffing a little bit better. So decrease... One, two, decrease, one, two. So in our, uh, this is actually our last row of whatever color we chose. So you're going to be working just in the back loops, just like we did for the actual decrease part. So every stitch in this round is going to be a back loop and you're going to do um, repeats. So it's going to be the exact same repeats you just did. So decrease one, two, you do that four times and then the last two stitches will be a decrease. Okay, so. So decrease. One, two, oops, I guess I've got to make sure I follow my own instructions. Back loops only. One, two, okay, now decrease again. Back loop single, back loop single. And you should have two stitches remaining, one, two, and you're going to decrease in that. So you should have a total of 13 stitches in the end here. Now, when we, um, when we close it up, we're actually going to be joining the white. So stick your um, crochet hook into that first single crochet that you did for that, that round you just completed. Grab the white, pull through. We're going to chain one with the white, <clears throat> and then we are going to tie the pink with the short end of the white together and cut off the pink. Cut the pink. We are done with the pink. And so now we are going to continue with our white. So you can just tuck in those ends, considering this will be a 3D sort of Thing, you can just tuck in those ends. So for the, the remainder of the project, you'll be working with the white, and for the exception of when we connect that little black strip. Um, and then, so let's keep going. So all you're going to do for this round is 13 single crochet all the way around, but only in the back loops. Thirteen. Close it up. So now we're going to be increasing. So at this very point, we have reached that um, that very very narrow part. So it actually kind of squeezes in there and then kind of bulks back up and then decreases back down to close in the middle. So for this round, we are going to be going up. <clears throat> so we're now on row eleven. So it's going to be six six repeats of increase singles. So we're going to do one, two, and then one by itself. And we're going to do that six times and then finish with an increase. So one, two, and then one by itself. One, two, one by itself. Single, and you should have one stitch remaining, and you're going to just do an increase in there to make a total of 20 for that round. Close it up. And then for the next two rounds, you're just gonna do a simple 20 around, 20 around, just um, not in the back loops, just a normal single crochet. So you're gonna do two rounds of 20.
and then close it up. All right, so now we're gonna go back to decreasing. We're gonna be working in just the back loops. So um, we're on row number 14 now. So on the back loop only, we're gonna do six repeats of decrease single. So decrease single, decrease single. Once again, all in the very back loops. And then you should have one, two stitches left, and you're going to decrease in those two. So you're going to have a total of 13 stitches once again, like we did before we did the um, rounds of 20. So what we're going to do now is we're going to join chain one, and I'm going to pull my hook up, and we're going to work on the eyes instead. So when we work on the eyes, um, you're going to notice that you can see that those front loops that we didn't work in, in that last row that we just did. So you can see here those loops right around there kind of makes a little bit of a like a rim um, I'm gonna use those as a bit of a gauge so we're gonna make our eyes from that point all the way up to the very first white hole that we see so that's how big I like to make my eyes to make this look feel free to make them bigger smaller however you see fit so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my little black strip I put it onto my darning needle what I'm gonna do is I like to have the, um, the loop at the back just so it's out of my way. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go up, I'm gonna go into that very top, one of the top row white holes that you can see there. Pull it enough so that you still have a couple of inches hanging out because we're gonna have to tie this at the end. And then we're gonna make sure that we are straight because we don't want our eyes crooked. We wanna make sure that we're straight. And we're gonna go down to right where those front loop only things were. So I'm going to go in there, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to reorient my needle to go right back up where we first went in. So I'm going to go right back up. Here we go. And I like to do it twice. So then I go down into that same hole again. And then this time, instead of going back up through that same hole, I'm going to start my second eye. So I'm just going to go However far apart you want your eyes, just make sure that you are still in that same row because we want to make sure that they're even. And then we'll go up, straight up, to one of the top white holes and back down through that same hole we just came from. And then back through the top so that it's doubled just like this one and then out through the bottom, through the big hole at the bottom. Okay, so my eyes, they're pretty loose, so I'm gonna pull them a little bit tighter so that you can see them. So I'm gonna take my two black ends, I'm gonna tie them, and then we're gonna stuff our mushroom. And just tuck in, tuck in those ends. There you go. And you've created your eyes. So now we're gonna stuff it. All right, so I have now stuffed my um, my mini mushroom, and so now I'm gonna show you how to close it, and then how to make the white patches that go around its head. So uh, closing it up is very, very, very straightforward. All we're gonna do is a bunch of decreases. So first thing we're gonna do is you wanna kinda of keep the stuffing away from your stitch. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna work in the back loop only, because we're working with decreases, and we're gonna do six of these. So one, two, sorry about the dog. And then what should happen is you should have one unused stitch because we had 13. And if we decrease six times, we were only using 12 of those stitches. So I would just work just a single crochet in the back loop of that last 13th stitch. And then you're going to close up your circle. So go into the first stitch you did and just cut maybe like two or three inches or so, nothing crazy. And pull your uh, crochet hook right out. And then you're going to do um, the closing method that I've shown in the past. You're just going to go in to each stitch and pull through and then pull the loop. 
think my dog really wants to go outside because she wants to play. <laughs> Just work your way around for each of those seven um, stitches that you worked on and then once you get to the beginning you're going to take your string pull it tight and then we are going to knot it so just find a close loop and let's make sure we're pulling through We're going to pull that little tail through and then hide it. All right, so um, the last thing we did was we closed this up and hid our little tail. So what we're gonna do now is we are going to create our four patches. So I've already created three of them. So you can see that you have one in the middle and then if I hold it this way, you can see one, two, three, four. So I'm gonna show you how to make the last one. It is very straightforward. <clears throat> All you're gonna need to do is make a magic circle with six single crochet in it. Okay, so let's start our magic circle, chain one, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, pull tight, close it up. <clears throat> Seems like a very repetitive thing that we do. Pretty much all stuffed um, objects, you're going to do that same sort of thing. Okay, and then we're going to increase around, so just a total of 12 stitches, so six increases. So one increase. increases okay and then we're gonna close it up and that is the end of uh, making a patch so you just do that four times pull it through and then when you cut it um, basically you don't need very much like even that is overkill <clears throat> you only need enough to really go around there and then what I like to do also is snip the back there we don't need a whole lot going on there Okay, so go ahead and make four of those, and I'll show you where to place them. All right, so um, you're going to notice, I'm not sure, it depends, it depends on where you placed the uh, the black string, but my black string is kind of right at the point at which we're going to place our um, patch, which is actually pretty handy. So what I like to do, leave, um, leave one full row of the color that you chose, place it right in the middle between the two eyes, and then that's where you're going to sew it. So I just like to go kind of work from behind the where the patch is going to be so you can't really see it. You don't have to sew too many because really these things don't move. <clears throat> this is where that darning needle or tapestry needle is very handy. It makes things much faster. And of course if you are a perfectionist, with some, which sometimes I am, um, you can go into one in each but that's 12 times you're going to do this and that's quite a few times. Okay, just as long as it's nice and secure and there's not a whole lot of gaps there, so I can see that I still have a gap there. So I'm going to do one more. <clears throat> okay, and then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go through just the white part, leave a loop, and then I'm going to go back through because then that creates my knot. And then what I like to do now is I like to go behind and then down through the bottom of my mushroom. And then that way I can snip it from the bottom. Okay, and then when you place the other four, so we got our first one on there, when you place your other four, you would just want to make sure that they're equidistant. So I like to kind of work my way around in a circle, and the reason I do that is because if I hold it this way, I can make sure that it's aligned. I find the first few times that I did this, I would put the first one on, and then I would try and just line up the other one, and then it wouldn't necessarily be kind of aligned this way. So whichever way works best for you, but go ahead and make yourself some mushrooms. Have fun.